Ah, oh, I'm so close. This music is very much pissing me off. We need to... We need to change the music up. Yeah, this is good. Okay, let's try this again. Yes! <laughs> In your face! Thank you, sweet life of Zack and Cody. We really, we truly do have a sweet life. This is the sweet life. Honestly, I cannot believe that blasting the Sweet Life theme song actually helped me pull off that glitch. Guys, wouldn't it be funny if this game was called Super Mario 69? <laughs> oh, God. Ah, God, my leg. I don't know if the mic picked that up, but holy shit. My leg just popped so hard. I finally caught a Salty DK Dan livestream last night. He tried to pop his leg and got a cramp on livestream. Great entertainer he is. I'm really good at Mario 64. It may not look like it, but I got some major speedrunning strats. Like this? Didn't think that you could do that, huh? That's called the Mario side jump ledge grab. Why would you say that about me? Fuck. I need that. Get the fucking one up. What the shit? What the fuck? This one. What the fuck? Never mind. Jesus Christ. Ah, eel, 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 slithery boy. Can I get this one up now? Get the fucking one up. Just, just, just give it to me. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? You guys saw that, right? It's not just me. That one up just fucked off. It just was like, hey, you want to eat me? Too fucking bad. Look at this big boy. Come out of your fucking hole. Don't you hate when that happens? When you touch a big boy and then you die. I don't remember how to get this fucking big boy out of his... Out of his little small little hole. Come on, big boy. Does anybody know how to get the big boy out? <laughs> ask him nicely. That's a really good idea. Let's go ask him nicely. Excuse me, big boy. Can you please leave your domain? Just for but a moment. You're going to the wrong eel. Listen, I... I don't need any of you fuckers telling me that I'm going to the wrong eel, okay? I know... I know eels. Oh, wait. It left. It left. Big boy left. He finally left. Okay, I don't know what the hell I did. Chat, what is your favorite Mario moment? Mine was the one when Mario told those kids to wash their foreskin. Hey, Salty, can you pause the stream for a sec? I need to take a pee pee. Yeah, okay, man. Just let me know. Okay, I'm good. Okay, awesome. Yeah, Kaiser Kaiser took his pee pee. All right, we're all we're all good. Holy fuck! I just need one more. If I can manage to not fuck this up, I'm just gonna do this and bada bit. Fuck! Depth perception. Get glasses today. This entire stream was just a glasses commercial. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Are you- are you fucking- I- I just- I yeeted myself off of the cliff. I was one coin away. But I've been watching a lot of the, uh... The Donkey Kong Country animated TV show. Like, you know, the CGI one. And there was an episode where just Candy Kong and Dixie Kong are walking into frame. It's like a new scene. And Dixie's like, yeah, you gotta be an idiot not to get vaccinated. Well, at least now I see the importance of getting vaccinated. But here's my question. Why do these monkeys know what vaccination is? They live in the middle of the fucking forest. Is there like Dr. Kong? He gives surgery and vaccinations to these monkeys. My boy Edgar, 
bless his soul. He sent me a picture of Dr. Kong. Now sure, this is this is literally just just Donkey Kong in a doctor's garb, but it gives us a good visual of what of what this Dr. Kong could potentially look like. Salty is a dingus dongus. You take that fucking back or I'll ban you. I swear to god. Salts, don't leave. That toad gives you the free star. Fuck. Go back to the maze room. Is this the toad that you speak of? Yeah. Ah! You've already recovered all this stuff? Yeah, no, that toad didn't give me jack shit. Is the toad in down here? Or is he in the actual stage? Oh, wait, there's a toad right here. Does he give me the star? I didn't see him earlier. <laughs> God. Do I have water? I love you, the cop! shit. What a helpful toad. We need to talk about this for a second. Roy Koopa. Big and burly, Roy is the master of the sky world. He's a big boy. Roy's a big boy. Everybody in chat is just spamming big boy. Which I'm fine with. Honestly, that's my ideal chat. Why are you making fun of Roy? I'm not making fun of Roy. Roy's a big boy. He's a big He's a big, lovable boy. Mario's hat is funny. That's a really good comment. <laughs> oh, you know what I should have done? I should have completed this game with 0.5 A-presses. Are you all aware of the 0.5 A-presses? In this video, I'll be explaining exactly what I do to collect Watch for Rolling Rocks in 0.5 A-presses. Because if you are aware, then we're going to have to talk about alternate universes. But to answer that, we need to talk about parallel universes. And if you thought my other tangents were complicated, just you wait. Stop cursing, my mom's in my room. Okay, fuck, shit, dicks. Salty, tell us a bedtime story. One day, in the Mushroom Kingdom... You know what, no, scratch that. It's not going to be Mario themed. One day, in Green Hill Zone... Sonic the Hedgehog, not to be confused with Sonic the Fox, was running around big loop-de-loops. Sonic then came across a semi-automatic assault rifle and said, What's this? He then picked it up and started shooting it. A stray bullet went into Tails' brain, who was walking towards Sonic to say hello like he usually does during the day. The bullet entered the forehead of his skull and went all the way through. Tails was dead, right on the spot. Not a second to even think about what had just transpired. Sonic had turned around and noticed the dead corpse on his front lawn. He then cried and set up a funeral. Yeah, that's, that's the bedtime story. I hope that you can sleep tonight. That's actually a, a story that was passed down generations to generations in the Salty family. My grandfather told that to my dad, and my dad told that story to me every single night before he went to sleep. Yo, Dan, is it cool if I post official art of Mario Mario's penis in the stream chat on Discord? Uh, probably not, no. Also, I don't want to see Mario's penis. I can fantasize about it, but I don't want to see it. Somebody asked a question I actually did want to answer. Are you a furry? Uh, no, I'm not. But if I did have a fursona, it would be Dr. Eggman. 
from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Get a load of this! Look at this fucking Koopa run around. Did it just did it just fall down? Oh my god! Oh, oh! Salty, how old are you? I'm 55. Ripley's, believe it or not. You need to set a good example for the younger audience of this stream. You need to set a good example for the younger audience of this stream. Fuck you. Can't tell me what to do. I'm a big boy. I got I got made fun of when I was a kid for having uh my my initials be DK. He's like, oh DK like like the gorilla. Yes. Like the gorilla indeed. I just realized sand is called sand because it's between sea and land. What the actual fuck? This fucking bunny rabbit, I will twist its neck into oblivion. Salty, tell a funny joke. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to go to Chuck E. Cheese. I don't anymore though, because last time I was there, I saw a big rat. Get it? The rat... The rat was Chucky. Wow, chat. Wow. You guys obviously don't know what comedy is. You wouldn't know comedy if it came over your house and married your mother. And then you had to go to the wedding. And it was really awkward because you don't know who this person is that's marrying your mother, but it's the, it's, it's the joke. It's the humor. That's why you don't know it. You don't know humor if it married your fucking mom. Oh my god. Oh my god, just fucking end me. What is even the point of having coins here? There's no there's no coin collection meter in the hub world. Those coins are literally just there to be like, hey, did you know that coins exist in this game? Can we hit 120 stars in Super Mario 64? Hit that motherfucking star button. This is so sad. Can we hit 50 likes? Can we hit... 70 dislikes. Can we hit 1 million dislikes on this video? Yo, can we get 50 chicken nuggets on this video? 50 McDonald's chicken nuggets. Ship them to my P.O. Box at 555 Dipster Street, Burbank, California. Yeah, we're going in. It's finally time. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. Reacting to your 50 likes the door opens. Can we get 50 likes to open this door? <laughs> this is so sad. Can we hit Mario? Can we hit Mario with 50 million likes? Can we just kick the shit out of Mario? Thanks for watching this video. Can we hit my dad 50 times? Can we hit my dad, please? 50 million likes to hit my dad. Thanks in advance, bros. Bro fist. Did you guys know that Mario can't read, like, canonically? There has never been an instance shown where Mario reads something out loud. And that has led me to believe that Mario is illiterate. Send proof to me on Twitter that Mario can read. Like, that it is explicitly stated anywhere that Mario can read. And he's not just looking at pictures. Game theory. Can Mario read? The answer may surprise you. The answer is no. If Mario can't read, then how did he read the letter in Hotel Mario? First off, I said canon. Y'all y'all folks obviously don't know your Mario lore if you think that Hotel Mario is canon. If it wasn't approved by Shigeru Miyamoto, it ain't canon. Mario can read the signs in this game. No, the player can read the signs in this game. There's no proof that Mario is actually comprehending what's on those signs. Mario doesn't speak, so how could we know? Honestly, Mario would be a way more interesting character if he couldn't read. And that would give Luigi something to one-up Mario with. Mario's like, what the fuck do you even do? And Luigi's like, well, at least I can fucking read, brother. Bitch. And yes, I think that Luigi would say that. So, can Mario read? Is there canonical evidence that Mario can actually read? Asking for a streamer. Hotel Mario doesn't count, it's not canonical. Normally, when I stream, I like to talk about a bunch of different things. 
but for some reason, in this stream, we've been talking about if Mario can read for the past 45 minutes. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, I'm dying. Uh, uh. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure that the Mushroom Kingdom doesn't have religion. It's full of godless heathens. Salty, my question is, have you seen my me tweet you on Twitter? Uh, no, but I will check right now. I'll open- I'm opening up Twitter. Twitter has been opened. I am now checking the notification box. There is a lot of notifications. What the fuck? You sent me a picture of Mario dabbing. Why? Salty, have you seen my feet? No. No, I have not. And I- I really hope- I hope to God that I never have to. What does yeet actually mean? Serious question. Uh, yeet is an acronym. It actually stands for... Oh wait, hey, pink bomb guy. What the fuck? Why are you down here? Yeet. No! Stop! Stop it! What? 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 Yeah. In Mario 64, the monkey steals the hat. In Mario Odyssey, the hat steals you. I hate my fucking life. You see, I really like streaming because I get to see, like, live reactions and live comments about what I'm doing. Or just, you know, like, people saying, oh, you know, I'm doing good, you know, telling me, uh, how they are. And I look over and I see a single two- two words. Two words. Chinkin Ningit. I'll say it again. Chinkin Ningit. Chinkin Ningit. Somebody typed that out. And said that that was probably one of the most necessary things that they've ever typed. Shout out to Simple Flips. Wouldn't it suck if, like, you learn that, like, past lives are real? And you find out that you were actually Hitler in your past life? Oh man, I wonder what cool things I was in my past life. Well, you were a turtle, a train conductor, oh, and also you were Hitler. What the fuck is wrong with me? Jesus Christ. What if instead of taking shots every time I die, I just take a hammer and I bash my hands with it? That's actually really- I actually have a hammer right here. Okay, here we go. One more because I died a third time. If you die again, you have to order a furry suit. If you add the word fuck to any sentence, it adds comedy and subtracts Jesus. So you guys know how in the Donkey Kong Country TV show, a Donkey Kong's catchphrase is banana slamma? Banana slamma! Can we come up with a better, a better catchphrase? What if instead of banana slamma, Donkey Kong was just like, vaccinate your kids. You see, I'm bringing it full circle. Ramadama. Chinken Ninget. Yeah, that's a good catchphrase. What the fuck? Oh, it was right there. I didn't even. Oh shit. Oh shit. Are you fucking kidding me? You're fucking kidding me. Holy shit. I- I cannot... Holy fuck. How can I fuck up that bad? F Mama Mia. Mama fucking Mia. Mama Mia! What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh my god. Can this stupid fucking piranha plant How does one kill a pet on the plant? I'm sorry if I'm a little bit silent, chat. But as you may have just witnessed, I think that my heart broke into a million pieces. Oh! No! No, why is the star here? 
Wait, can I cheese it? Can I cheese it? Okay, wait. Cheese it? Cheese it? Cheese it? Cheese it? Yes! Yeet! After so much trial, so much error, it is time. We are finally here. We've cheesed the game to fucking oblivion. Time to kiss Bowser on the nose. We're gonna boop him. We're gonna boop him. Okay. Before we hop in, does anyone have any regrets? I regret thinking that Ugandan Knuckles meme was ever funny. Yeah, me too, Muffin. Me too. Okay. What do I do, chat? Fuck. Don't, don't fall off the edge. Don't fall... God damn it, Bowser. You had one job. Damn it! Damn it. Oh, oh that's not good. That's not good at all. I'm gonna nudge him. So, we may have fucked up and lost one time. But that doesn't mean that it'll happen a second time. I can nudge him, right? I can nudge him. Oh! I don't want to have to come back to you in another stream. Just do me a favor. And just, just, just die, okay? Just die. There we go. Thank you. Whoo, my god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was so lucky that that did not fall. The place that I am right now. But that's not good at all. Okay, one, two, three, four, four! Yay! I can't believe I, I beat the game. This is the craziest shit that's ever happened to me. Wahoo! You know what I'm saying? We have to do something special for you. Something, something really special for you? That's a little sneak preview of what, what I got for you, Mario. It's a cake. Hey, did you guys know my my dad works at Nintendo and he told me that you can unlock Luigi if you take your Nintendo 64 cartridge and run it over with your uh with your car. And so Lakitu's documentary on Mario's life is complete. Thank you so much for playing my game. To to playing. To playing my game. Thank you so much for being so gay.